Hello, my name is Jim Politis. I am chairman of the board of supervisors in Montgomery County, Virginia. As you watch this video, I would like to encourage you to reflect on what makes Montgomery County special to you. The Board of Supervisors' vision focuses on our desire to provide good stewardship for our resources and direction for our future. Montgomery County is a friendly, caring community distinguished by the vibrancy and diversity and grounded by its deep roots in traditional values. Our beautiful farmlands, mountains, and green spaces truly do offer something special for everyone. While our business-friendly environment attracts high-tech, clean industries, agriculture, tourism, and other endeavors, we seek to help our businesses grow, recognizing that a diversified economy helps us thrive during good times and challenging times by offering outstanding citizen services, including exceptional learning and recreational opportunities, we foster a high quality of life for all of our citizens. I hope you enjoy learning more about how the county works to provide high quality services for our most important feature, you, the citizen of Montgomery County. Montgomery County is the place to have fun. There was singing and celebrating at the first outdoor concerts in the park at Eastern Montgomery Park. Spot of Tea, anyone? Parks and Recreation and the Meadowbrook Library held its first Grandma and Me tea party for 68 guests. You may have seen us on television. Virginia Tech studied youth football helmets using our Auburn Might Eagles team. Stone Phillips, formerly of NBC, produced a story shown nationwide. The Power of Giving, over 200 hours and $3,600 were donated to expand the disc golf course at Mid-County Park. Montgomery County is the place to do business. We know how to budget. Moody's and Standard and Poor's reaffirmed our bond ratings due to strong finances, reserves, and financial management. Our financial reporting also once again received a Certificate of Achievement from Government Finance Officers. We are now home to the largest online retailer of premium outdoor gear, Backcountry.com. They chose Falling Branch Corporate Park to build their $20.5 million fulfillment center. Need a job? They're employing over 200 full-time people. We're moving on up. Our Economic Development Department demolished the old Blacksburg Middle School and is selling the property to Modia and Fiddler's Green LLC. Total gain? $5.6 million. Montgomery County is a great place for learning. We're building a better tomorrow. Groundbreakings were held for the Auburn and Blacksburg High Schools. 86 million in general obligation bonds will finance the two new high schools and renovate a middle school. The new Blacksburg High School will also be financed by $15 million no interest bonds. That's money you can take to the bank. It's the new best place to be. A ribbon cutting was held at the new Prices Fork Elementary School. Helping to shape a better future for our children, Geographic Information Systems, commonly known as GIS, staff worked with public schools to assist with redistricting. Montgomery County is a good steward of natural resources. Onward and upward, with the new 2010 census data showing an increase in population, county voting districts were reviewed and revised. This is money well spent. $150,000 received from the Virginia Department of Transportation created urban development areas. Two new zoning districts will allow traditional neighborhood designed projects within the more urban areas and villages. Montgomery County is a quality community. High marks. The National Citizen Survey was sent to 1,200 citizens who rated the quality of life here as excellent or good. Onward and upward. 
courthouse construction in downtown Christiansburg was coming to an end and will provide greater security for our growing community. Congratulations to Brad Finch, former Commonwealth's attorney, who is now a juvenile domestic relations judge. Also, congratulations to Sabrina Porter. She was named Victim Witness Coordinator of the Year for the Commonwealth. Coming together to get you where you're going. Blacksburg Transit, Montgomery County, Lewis Gale Montgomery Hospital, and Warm Hearth Village partner on a new route providing rides between the retirement community and the hospital. That's good press. The Montgomery Floyd Regional Library won the Virginia Public Library Director's Award for posters promoting ebooks and audiobooks. The National Association of Counties also honored the libraries for its achievements. Karen Cronin was a huge supporter of the Meadowbrook Library. In her memory, the library established a garden with her favorite plants. To commemorate the 150th anniversary of the Civil War, Christiansburg Library hosted the History Mobile. A display from the Virginia Historical Society told about an amazing turning point, the Civil War in Virginia. Statistics. Montgomery Floyd Regional Library checked out 785,879 books and materials. 525,618 people visited the libraries. 102,189 people used the computers and over 5,600 library cards were issued. A gift from the Daughters of the American Revolution repaired and preserved land books from the late 1700s and early 1800s. The Library of Virginia also helped to repair and preserve a fee book, 1774 to 1780. Paying it forward, the clerk of the Circuit Court's office established a partnership with the Public History Department at Virginia Tech to develop an intern program. Your Community in Action the retired and senior volunteer programs record 320 volunteers worked 64,704 hours valued at $1 million. Volunteers also saved over $100,000 for seniors by helping them choose their Medicare Part D drug plans more wisely. Way to go, guys! The Supplies for Seniors Project received $1,400 plus dollars from the Walmarts at Christiansburg and Fairlawn and an additional $500 from the Blacksburg Newcomers Club. Montgomery County is a citizen-friendly government. High marks for the Sheriff's Office which graduated their 20th Citizens Police Academy. The County and Christiansburg partnered on their first Citizens Academy. Civics is also in session at Virginia Tech. The Senior Scholars Academy held classes taught by county and town officials on government, schools, history, and arts. Open government in the palm of your hand. A mobile website now allows accessibility from multiple handheld devices. Keeping our meetings green. The Board of Supervisors began receiving meeting agendas on iPads to reduce printing and copying costs. Public Information's last annual report won a National County Information Officer's Superior Award and other national and state awards. Thank you for letting us keep you informed. Donating to save lives. The county in Christiansburg sponsored a blood drive through Virginia Blood Services. And employees also gave more to charities. Becoming a top 25 organization in United Way. Montgomery County is a safe place to live going above and beyond the call. The Sheriff's Office participated in 59 community events, including drug education, internet safety, and handing out fingerprint kits to children. Just say no. The Sheriff's Office taught drug abuse resistance education, commonly known as DARE, in four county elementary schools and graduated 234 students. A lesson worth learning. The school resource officers at both high schools held mock crashes to promote teen driving safety. 
Driving under the influence, golf carts were also used to educate students about the dangers. They're keeping your wheels safe. The Sheriff's Office placed third in the Virginia Help Eliminate Auto Theft program. Protecting and serving. The Sheriff's Office received 34,696 calls for service this fiscal year and made a total of 2,793 arrests, including 114 for driving under the influence. The Sheriff's Office received $120,000 in total grant funding for the Department of Motor Vehicle, Alcohol Enforcement, and Regional Crash Team Training and Equipment and for surveillance equipment. Fire and rescue volunteers answered 10,692 calls last fiscal year. Planning and GIS services worked with mobile home park owners to readdress the parks to improve public safety and fire rescue calls. Your safety is our business. Emergency services received a $400,000 FEMA grant to replace breathing apparatus for fire departments. The New River Valley Emergency Communications Regional Authority is consolidating its communications system. They secured grant funds for a regional GIS data sharing project and are buying UHF simulcast radio systems to improve interoperability. The Consolidated Emergency Communications Center for the New Public Safety Building was designed and work will get underway in 2013. Over half a century of service, the Elliston Volunteer Fire Department celebrated its 55th anniversary. My name is Craig Meadows and I'm the County Administrator for Montgomery County. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about the county's accomplishments and the ways in which we provide quality services to the citizens of Montgomery County. The leadership of the Board of Supervisors continues to provide good stewardship for our resources and direction for our future. The recent announcements of new and expanding businesses and high-tech industry bring the promise of more jobs and significant investment in our community. Our community also continues to place high importance on public education and public safety. As new schools are built to replace aging and inadequate facilities, Properties that are no longer needed are being sold and marketed to help pay for the new construction. The new courthouse will provide a safe, secure, and quality facility that will serve our community for many years to come. And the renovation of the old courthouse will provide a much needed public safety building for the Sheriff's Office and the new 911 Regional Authority. I am confident that the county will continue on its current successful path. Thank you for your continued support as we strive to provide quality services and look ahead to the future. Thank you for your time today.